Good job, Marchman. Fund the town. Uh, so we need to de-stress Macy. Is not 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 allowed to gamble. All right, Macy, go to the bar. De-stress yourself. You probably need to de-stress yourself as well. We'll send you. You're a bad gambler. We don't want you to go to the gambling hall. We will instead instead send you to the Abbey. Money always seems like a big issue. Yeah, it totally is. There's uh, no doubt about it. Oh, so we're at the point where we can increase the number of slots. If this was an increase to the effectiveness, I would have chosen that, but... We're going to send you to the cloister. Marcy. You have the runs and the worries. We need to send you to get rid of the runs or the worries. I say we get rid of the runs because the worries... You can de-stress yourself pretty easily. So I'm not as concerned about things like that, but you are... Uh, that disease that makes you not dodge is pretty awful. Well, at least... So we recovered the trinkets that we lost from our person. Let's check to see if we can get another grave robber. No grave robber available. We're getting to the point where we don't have a whole lot of low level... Oh, we have! We have Bowline. Bowline. She's built for moving around, though. We would want to switch her to the other skills. The movement stuff is fun. Oh yeah, we could do a uh, a moving thing with the jester. So we could do bowline, the jester, maybe peck off. Cause they both they all like to move around. That could be an interesting one. We'd want to bring a healer with us. All of our Vestals are level 3. I think I will pick up this Vestal. Okay. Yeah, you come with me. A sister of battle. Pious and, and unrelenting. unrelenting. I like it. Do we have a highwayman, or did our other highwayman die as well? Our high, or I mean our hound masters. Our hound masters are always dead. They're the ones that we send out and then do something stupid, like throw a torch on a an object that's like, "Hey, you shouldn't throw a torch on this." And we're like, "Yeah, but what? What? What's the worst that could happen?" And then the worst happens. Oh yeah, we can upgrade our barracks. But could we instead, uh, here, let's, let's bring the Houndmaster on board. A lawman and his faithful beast. Rip Pupper's calling, PETA. <laughs> by battle and bloodshed. We're not intentionally getting them killed. It just is, uh, an unfortunate truth right now. Uh, so it takes 32 deeds to up the weapon smith or the armor smith the stagecoach oh oh we want this i didn't so once we upgraded the uh ambition is the blacksmith enough cities we can use this we can now get rank one guys to show up We can also increase the size of our roster. I was thinking that I should do this before, but now I'm kind of like, should I upgrade the blacksmith again? Those upgrades are probably going to be expensive, but probably also, you know, very worthwhile. So I'm going to save. We at least don't need to upgrade it right now. 
I'm gonna save the deeds for this turn. Bomop says it's getting late for me. Now I think I'm gonna call it a night. Grats on beating Swine Prince. Hey man, have a good night. Uh, just just for your own uh, information, I'm probably gonna be playing Civ Six because the expansion is coming out on Thursday. So I'm gonna be changing it up a little bit from what you're used to. I hope that uh, doesn't bother you. But I will be probably playing Civ Six on on Thursday. So have a good night, Bomop. Thanks for tuning in. What are we doing now, though? Let's see here. Let us see here. What do we want to try to do? We have our level 4 and 3 guys in good shape. So we could try another medium or level 3 adventure. We could try to go after the Necromancer again. I don't remember what happened before, but we had to abandon it. I think that's what I'm going to try to do. I want to try to kill the Necromancer again. We we could really use the influx of cash from beating a rank 3 mission. So it's going to be Angerand. It's going to be Seuss. It's going to be Dismas. And it's going to be... Not Stukely. Give me March, man. And so let's see what we got going on here. We can give him the old speed bonus. Plus accuracy fixer upper. Where's that? Oh, there it is. And then for you, we can give you damage and minus dodge and plus two percent crit plus five percent yeah that, that's probably fine yeah i think that's what we're gonna go with the highwayman only stalwart buckle plus two percent crit plus five percent stress minus three percent virtue chance Uh, okay, so we want to bring the Witch's Vial, the Blight Amulet for him. And then for you, we would like to bring the healing and the healing. Let's provision up and let's get going. So we're going for the Necromancer. We tried this once before, and it uh, it didn't go well. Let's get a little. You know, this is a this is a higher level dungeon, so we can bring more materials here in the hopes that we beat it and get a good return on the way back. So. I think this is a decent loadout. We've got anti-venoms, shovels, bandages. We've got some medicinal herbs. We've got some keys. Yeah, we got everything we need. I think we're in good shape. Let's embark. I entertained a delegation of experts from overseas eager to plumb the depths of their knowledge and share with them certain techniques and alchemical processes I had found to yield wondrous and terrifying results. Having learned all I could from my visiting guests, I murdered them as they slept. <laughs> well, that that seems a little uh, unwelcoming. Are you just an insane person? The, desperate go in search of him. the person who runs this... Uh... This town is just insane. 
Oh, uh, we've got a battle over here. We have a battle there. Let's head this way first. Kill one necromancer. I guess we probably should have assumed that the necromancer would be down here and just head straight down. Might be a bad assumption. I don't know how they generate the map, but it seems like it, it's likely. <laughs> Smokechar says I'm holding, holding out hope that he's the good guy. The blackest of fates, three of five. The assault was overwhelming with Cuthbert slain, and as Bolane, Bolane fell, I was driven by rage. I leapt and drove my axe into the creature's many eyes. Purple Ikor splashed my face, and my very soul shook as it bellowed. The only thing I can recall after was falling swiftly into blackness. I'm no, I'm no narrator here, but I'll try to become him for those... I wish they'd have the narrator ha have read those things, because I would prefer to hear it in his voice. Well, this is not a great lineup for this crew. Let's see. I can't reveal him, so... I'm just gonna grape shot blast. They dodged it all? Are you serious? We have to reveal this guy. We got a buff. Oh, it's a it's a nice buff for, for having done that. That's at least worthwhile. Do not tempt me with the goblet. Ooh! Starting with a big crit on our friend, that's not great. Okay, let's try to get rid of the, the back guys. They're annoying. How much does our Blight do? It does five per use. Let's do a little team heal. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. I think if we do one more plague thing on the back, these guys are dead on their own. Plague grenade. Well, he's definitely dead. He'd be dead in a turn. Now we start our little shootist gallery here. Stop trying to throw purple drank in my face. I don't appreciate it. He did the slash! He did the graveyard slash! I don't like the graveyard slash. That was a nice deal. Much of Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. That's true. Let's get rid of this corpse. So that friend in the back is gonna die on his own from the blight. <laughs> you sound a little too happy about that. So clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? We've already talked about this. It's definitely a trick of the light. I kind of want to check out what that curio is. Disarmed! Let's get the light back in order here. So we're checking out room battles with curios. A suit of armor. What do we do with a suit of armor? He resisted the movement. That's good because we couldn't hit the next guy. Uh, let's stun the guys in the back. We're gonna need to try to reveal the stealthman. I guess we could start judging this guy. 
get a little bit of damage in on him. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. I don't like the stealth mechanic. I know why they add it to stop things from like this point blank thing from being just overwhelmingly the best thing to do all the time. But it still annoys me. No, he dodged my riposte. How dare he? We're gonna kill you. Regardless of what you think. I have no quarrel with you. Don't you dare. You monster. We need you to move backwards. We need you to move forwards. I hate when they shuffle the movement of everything around. Oh god, no! He's already on death's door. This is not great. Okay, let's clear some of these guys out. Can we get our healer's turn, please? We're gonna try to kill that guy with some plague. No! For the weak or the foolhardy. Oh my God! Angerant is dead. He is deceased. Oh, he was a vital part of this team, and he's gone now. This game is hard, guys. Hard and soul-crushing. I don't think I can continue on on this, uh... This particular adventure without Angren. I think this crew is not as capable of dealing with such adversities as the previous crew was. But! I need some money. So I'm going to have to search around some more. As the fiend falls, the fiend That's just uh, the gist of it, really. We lost Engren, but we have to try to work without him for a little bit. Because we need that money. That cash money is vital. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Alright, let's take his trinkets back. Let's take whatever we can here. Oh, do we rest immediately to try to make this... I think we rest immediately because we're going to be trying to make the best out of a bad thing that's happening. We leave the citrines right now. We rest immediately to make room for some loot and also to... Give ourselves buffs. A moment of respite. A chance to steal oneself against the coming horrors. Okay, we're gonna clean our guns. Clean our guns to make the next few battles easier. Uh, we're gonna increase our chance of surprising enemies too. Decrease the chance we get surprised, increase the chance they get surprised. So, we're gonna try to make our next few battles a little easier. The way is lit, the path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. A suit of armor. Would anything help with a suit of armor? Would bandages help for some reason? All right, let's just look at the suit of armor. It protects him 10 dodge and 15 prot until camp. Well, that is, uh, that's a benefit right there. You can't say it's not a benefit. Oh God. 
This was the battle that we had a lot of problems with in our first encounter here. But we'll see what we can do. Impressive. This is going a lot better than our first encounter here. Don't howl. I said don't. I said don't do that. Returns even the boldest gaze. All right, the gargoyle's dead. Now we're just left with the slave, slavering ghoul, who crits us like a fiend and stuns our friend. No, do not howl. Stop doing everything that you're doing. I don't like it. Oh, he dodged my attack. I was trying to hurt him and heal myself. Just size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. I mean, Onyx is definitely better than what you chose there. All right, let's uh, let's radiance, may we ditch. Victory. Some of these torches. Let's ditch some of this food. Potentially for gold. Okay, let's, uh, hold on. Let's eat some of this food. And then ditch it. There we go. So we're carrying some of the gold. We need the money. We need the money. It's of vital importance that we leave here with some good money. Don't steal our loot! Okay, it had a map. We already had everything mapped out. You damn thief. Dismiss. You're terrible. What is this? A bone commander? Get out of here, bone commander. You resisted me trying to tell you to get out of here? Uh, Bone Commander. Become stunned. You resisted that as well. Get pushed back, please. Crushing blow. 12 damage. Minus 30% stun resist. Owie! Okay, well he's almost dead. Heal the party. A momentary Bow to your sensei. Okay, he's gone. Bone Commander is gone. That was uh, a scary enemy for me. <laughs> Smoke Char says, help police. I agree 100%. Quit stabbing me. Oh! 41 damage crit. Let's heal the team some more. We all need health. So just spread the love around. We need to get rid of this corpse. Okay, the corpse is gone. Stop stabbing me with your bayonet. It's horrifying. Right, we're, we're back to basically full health. That was a pretty good fight. As victory, Rubies are twelve fifty a piece. So will resistance. Let's uh let's ditch the bandages. Holy Fountain. Let's hit it. Let's hit it with Holy Water. Divine Benefit. A de stressed her and healed her. 
I really want to know what happens if you hit it with blood, because I'm sure something bad happens if you do that. But I don't have blood right now, and I'm not in a group where I really want to try that. In case it's like, encounter the demons of hell. I'd be like, how about no? A blazing star is born. I would prefer not to do that. Okay, we're in this room again. All right, we're gonna. We want to check out the room battle with treasure. We want treasure. I'd like more scouting. No. He didn't steal it, he just opened it. Okay, so that's different than I thought was happening. Journal of Darius, Highwayman 3 of 6. As we traveled... Or, day 6, as we traveled from the hamlet, an eerie dread grew. We all felt it, but did our best to shrug it off. Sleep was difficult until Raven, one of my companions, passed me a bitter concoction. The most devout of us, Therian... Uh, prayed softly for our safety. Superstitious, but well-intentioned, I suppose. I'm already falling asleep. So we'd read that one before, but you know it. Whatever. It's not until I get like halfway through reading it that I realize I've read it before. Disarmed! I wonder if carrying them back makes them not appear anymore. I wish that just reading them made them not appear like they if they behaved like uh like journal entries in Diablo 3. I would like that. That would be cool. Locked display cabinet. How about we hit it with the old key? Give me the gold. Uh, what can we ditch for the gold? I think anti-venom I'm ditching for gold. Is there anything else worth ditching? Like, I like... I think carrying holy water and skeleton keys is much better than... Than that. Let's, uh... Let's ditch our... Sh no, I'm gonna keep our shovels right now. I don't know. We'll move on as is. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. Okay, so it's a similar group as before, but this time we have the Stressman, the Bone Noble. So this guy is now the half dead. Try to kill, let's try to kill Bone Noble with our, our ranged attacks. Hey, we dodged his stress attack. That's good. It's funny that like stress is a bigger worry than big damage in this game. A lot of the time, not all the time, but much of the time. You're in a bad spot for this, but just try to get as much damage on him as possible. Oh, he's so close to death. He got moved to the back too, which is good. We'll try to finish him with our healer. If we can't, let's see. Four hit points? Yeah, he's dead. Perhaps the turning point. And now you are. You guys are deceased. Destroyed. Obliterated. Good dodge. Good dodge, my friend. Alright, let's heal up. Nine health, that's good. Seuss. Oh, I guess I could have used the move since being in the front doesn't matter because we had a corpse there. 
could have just used dual